What is up, everybody? This is General Spear here. Welcome back to the second episode of um, the Arc uh, well, the Arc Trooper Havoc Commander Build, whatever. I'll get the name down eventually. It's Arc Trooper Commander Havoc. Um, this is the second video for it, and today, I mean, last episode we went over the CRLs for the build specifically, and that was. That is going to be specific to um, what we need to build and uh, yada, yada, yada. This video, while it definitely pertains to Arc Trooper Havoc, this really, this step in the cosplay process for anybody that is interested in cosplaying and all that kind of, you know, deal, just doing costumes and whatnot in general, it's always good to do this step, especially since it gives you a layout, and especially with so many different parts and components, um, and potentially tools as well. Um, that is definitely something to consider. Um, this this step that I'm doing here of writing out a list and making sure that everything is all all good to go uh, with as far as what is go what it's going to take to build this entire armor. Uh, this really allows me to see a checklist, basically, of what, of what we're going to do. Um, and from this, we can list out, you know, all the different components. We can list out all the different materials in which it's going to take to make those components if we need to make them. It also is going to uh, list the various resources, um, of which, you know, there will be the links to the in the description below to each of the resources for this build. Um... And then also uh, budget as well. It'll, it'll determine what our budget is going to be on this. Um, word to the wise, as far as budget goes, it's always better to um, overestimate than underestimate because that way you can account for anything that you know may potentially break or if you need to get some extra stuff, um, you'll have some money to be able to do that and everything because cosplay... I mean, there, there are some cosplays that I've seen out there that don't take money. Like, people have made them out of, like, cardboard and everything that they've found in, like, a recycling bin or whatever. Um, and that's great. But for something like this, to get into the 501st, you do need to spend a little bit to uh, to make something like this. So, um, we have listed over here uh, from these... Get, well, really, actually, all of this has to do with the 501st and all the components that... Um, are going to take to go into it. We have the helmet, or the helmet kit, rather. We have the armor kit here. We have the additional accessories. We have the weapons. We have the holsters. Um, and then we have the uh, the various things like paint, glue, CA glue in this case, which is a nice, um, nice really nice glue to have, actually. I've worked with it a few times before. It is really, really fantastic. And of course, we have Bondo as well with the hardening filler. Um, so we're going to go over all of this uh, today. And like I said before, this is a really good step to do, especially if your costume or cosplay has a bunch of components like this. It's good to have a list to make sure to figure out what you still need to get versus what's already on the way or versus what uh, you have. Um, so currently right now I have two different colors that are that are on the uh, the board so to speak. I have black for things that I have still yet to get just the regular text and then I have blue for the things that um, I already have on hand. Um, and then I'm going to use a third color, pro probably something like a yellow, um, to list things that I've purchased but still waiting. F excuse me, but still waiting for them to get here because they are in shipping process or whatever. Um, so, for example, the the comma, for example. Let's just say that I've already purchased it, which I haven't yet, but I will soon. That would look like that. Just just for just for kicks and giggles. Um, so uh, the first thing that we're going to start with is the fact that we have all these different categories here. We have the helmet kit itself, we have the armor kit, and then we have additional accessories. Um, which are all under various things. 
So the helmet kit, which is separate from the armor kit, and there's a reason for that. If you're building your own clone trooper or stormtrooper costume, doesn't really matter what it is, or even first order stormtrooper, um, or really just any character that involves a helmet, rather, most cases, most case scenarios, most vendors will actually have the helmet kit itself separate from the armor kit. Um, that's just the way that most vendors, most businesses, especially if you are not making your own armor or helmets, if you order it from a vendor, that's how it's usually going to be, is that somebody will, you know, if it's a vendor that sells both items, they'll sell the helmet separate from the armor kit itself. Um, uh, and then in the case of both these items, I have the helmet kit from a different different place altogether, and the um, armor kit. Um, I have the helmet kit purchased from a separate place altogether than the armor kit, is what I'm trying to say. So the helmet kit, $250 including shipping, takes normally about two to three weeks. Um, it took only a few days because the guy that I purchased it from... Um, already had some arc trooper helmets that were animated on hand which is really really nice what it includes in the kit is of course it includes the helmet includes the range finder in this case with havoc uh, it includes a visor the mesh that goes under the uh the breathable airways which we will get to later on when we actually you know paint and assemble or when we do some body work paint and assemble the helmet and then some extra greeblies, which I'll overgo. I'll also go over in that video as well. And then with the greeblies um, or greebles, uh, depending on which way you pronounce it, I've included also, which is not a part of the helmet. Keep this in mind. I've included a fan. I've included a mic and speaker system, and I've included foam pads. Like I said, these are not with the helmet kit. These are just added accessories that I am putting into it to make the helmet system better for me. Um, I found a fan, which is actually around $40. $40. Um, I will put the guy's uh, link in the description below, because um, I'm not remembering off the top of my head. Uh, the guy that I purchased it from, I think his name is like Henry or something like that. Um, keep in mind also too that some of these links that I'm going to put in the description put in the description below are going to be to Facebook links. For example, Dave's Armory up here, really fantastic guy. Uh, he and his coworker have done helmets for a long time. Uh, this is not the Evo or uh, Evo's um, helmets. These are. Something different altogether. These are really, really nice, though. Um, the guy lives down in Los Angeles, or, or runs his business down in Los Angeles, or something like that. And so the 250 that he quoted me uh, not only included the kit, but also included shipping. So shipping, th this price might vary uh, from person to person, depending on where you live. Uh, for me, it was 250 which was nice. Um... So yeah, that that that's what that is. Um, so uh, there's the fan, there's the mic and speaker system, which I'm using the Acker uh, mic and speaker system, which is where you have the headset and then you have this speaker that goes behind uh, the armor um, that wraps around your neck, and it's actually a really lightweight system. Um, I might have it be that there's a slot in the armor that I build in the back of it just so I can actually fit it in there and just hold in place, possibly. Um, but we will see. And then I have foam pads, which are like an additional $15. Um, I forget what the Acker system um, uh, setup was, how much it cost. I think it was around like another 30 or 40 I'm just going to go... I'm just going to go 50 for for... Um, safety reasons, just to overestimate a little bit, just in case I'm off on that number in any way. Uh, yeah, and the foam pads, $15. You can find them on, like, Amazon. You can also find them, I think, at Army Surplus stores. They'll generally have, like, helmet foam pads. Um, I don't know how much it would be at Army Surplus stores, but the ones I found at Amazon are going to be around $15. So that's pretty nice. 
Um, the armor kit. Uh, this is from uh, Kevin Weir or Kev Weir over at uh, Imperial Surplus. I think he's also down in LA. I can't remember. Um, and when I mean LA, I mean Los Angeles. Um, for those who don't know. Um, so, and it's going to be approximately uh, 1100 for the entire kit. Uh, this includes the uh, the basic Phase 1 armor components as well as the Arc Trooper upgrade. Um, and uh, this also is a price that includes shipping and handling for me. And I've overestimated a little bit just in case. Uh, but that is roughly what the budget is on the armor kit itself. And this is what it all includes. This includes the Polderon, the shoulder armors, the upper arms... The uh, forearm armor for the uh, the arc trooper, the hand plates, the chest uh, armor, which is both the inner and outer, the back end, the back armor, the abdomen armor, the kidney armor, the cod piece and belt front, the posterior, the belt rear, and the detonator, um, the thigh armor, the lower leg armor with the uh, shins and the knees. Um, then we also have the boot caps, the boots as well. Uh, if you go through this guy, you need to give him your size of shoe. Um, in my case, it's like a size 13 or so. Pretty big feet. Uh, so the boots are included in that, which is really, really nice. And then, of course, these various accessories of the belt boxes and the ammo pouch that in Havoc's case goes on the, or latches onto the Polderon on his right, uh, over his right chest area. Over his right pectoral, basically. So that's what it all includes. 1100 seems like a lot, but this is also a lot of stuff. So you're getting quite a bit of the pieces. Pretty much all of the, the physical wearable pieces that go on the armor, excluding the helmet. So all this combined, it's like 1350, which is not bad. It's actually going to be a little... Actually, it's going to be a little bit more. It's going to be more like 1500 Which is actually roughly what a typical armor will cost. A, a full suit of armor will cost. Without any painting, without any um, stuff done to it. Um, and if it's just in kit form. So, that's actually pretty good. Uh, additional accessories will also include um, things like a comma. Uh, I think I was quoted around $65. I upped it, upped it to 80 for shipping just in case that didn't include shipping and tax and everything. And it's from a place called K5 Creations. They used to do neck seals. I don't know if they still do. Um, but, uh, there, there's the comma that will be, of course, uh, in the Havoc fashion. There's the backpack. I was quoted around 350 to 360 or thereabouts, I did 400 just in case. This is from Crooks Knight over at Imperial Trooper Packs. They specialize in making all the different backpacks from Star Wars. So you have your Sand Trooper pack backpacks. You have your, um, you have your just regular Storm Trooper backpacks. You have, of course, your, um, your Arc Trooper backpacks in the various forms that they come in. They do others as well from Star Wars, but this, this, these are really, really nice stuff. They have both a Facebook page and an Etsy presence. I'm just going to go ahead and list the Etsy in the description below. And they're very, very, you know, all these people that I'm listing right now, they're very, very responsive. Uh, each one of them got me, got back to me within a few hours to a day kind of thing, or maybe two days, depending on how busy they were. Very, very, you know, excellent people. Um, so I cannot complain with that. Um, so very good. Very, very good. Uh, and then we get to the undersuit. I'm overestimating quite a bit, probably. Uh, but just to be on the safe side, it's about $160. It includes the next seal the gloves and the uh, the two-piece uh, top and bottom set that I'm going to try to do more research on. I'm not exactly 100% sure on where to get it at this point. However, when we do go over the undersuit, ladies and gentlemen, because that will be a separate video altogether, I will have more information on where I got my um, two-piece undersuit 
I can tell you, and also the next seal as well, I can tell you that the Nomex gloves, which are these gloves right here, these are aviator gloves, or flight, flight gloves, basically. And where I'm going to get them at, I still have yet to purchase them in its size and everything, I'm going to get them from this site right here called MyPilotStore.com. I have a link in the description below. These are the Nomex flight gloves. They are apparently excellent. They are really um, suggested very strongly for Clone Trooper uh, 5 of first approval gloves and everything. They're very, very nice, very breathable, but also kind of snug um, and, you know, very, very relaxed at the same time. Um, aviators swear by these, uh, as you can see, they've been, um, they've been, uh, the family in which these come from have been in development since the 1960s, so they've been around for a very long time. Pilots around the world still use these Nomex gloves, um, or Nomex gloves, excuse me, and apparently even cosplayers do as well. Um, so I'm going to be getting a pair of these. Normally they are about $30, so probably estimate about eh, $40 total if you include shipping and tax. Uh, maybe a little bit more, more like $45, but still. But that's where you get them. I'm going to go ahead and actually put that in, so about $45. Just to be on the safe side. Um, the The weapons. I have here for materials uh, PVC pipe plywood and styrene I have yet to actually um, make an actual shopping list of what's still needed there it's probably gonna be around a hundred dollars for the entirety of the build uh, for both the materials uh, for the build and the um, the uh, you know just the uh, the glues and the 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 and whatnot doesn't necessarily include the tools that we're going to use. It's going to be a separate category altogether. Um, I have actually not included that, which is why I overestimated quite a bit. Um, so yeah, and then the same with the styrene, the foam, and the glue. I've actually, I actually already have purchased these. All these components here, so the PVC pipe and the plywood, for example, that can easily be bought at like Home Depot or Lowe's or even um, Orchard Supply. I would actually su suggest Orchard Supply. They are they're smaller and less of a of a corporate matter, as well as they're very very friendly. So I like Orchard Supply a lot, or Osh, as it's also known as uh, the styrene. Go to Tap Plastics. Tap Plastics is very very nice store. Um, don't run the risk of getting it off of like Amazon, the styrene at all, because there's lots of different kinds of and thicknesses of styrene and various, you know, sizes of sheets. So go to Tap Plastics. It's a very, very nice um, shop if you're able to. They also have an online presence um, if you so choose. Um, so yeah, I got the styrene for, oops, oops, oops. I got the styrene for the holsters, which I'm currently still prototyping. I'm still working out how they're going to be built. We are going to be doing a build on those, and that's probably going to be one of the first build videos that we do. Um, and then we have the foam, which can be... Uh, I bought mine in particular at Michael's Arts and Crafts. Um, it is... If I can just look at the thickness real quick. It is... It is the roll... It is a one-piece roll that's about 36 by 60. The reason why I got so much is because um, I am doing multiple holsters for multiple people because apparently that's a demand. There's also a li listing. There's going to be a listing eventually in the description below on my for my Etsy, and in particular that those few listings that are going to have the holsters. So if people want to get those, that's completely fine. Um, but I'll also show off how to make them as well. I think the foam is about a sixteenth of an inch thick. That sounds about right. Uh, and then I have super glue. In this case, I have the Loctite super glue, and it is the professional liquid. It's not the gel. So professional liquid. Five second. Five second super glue. Um, 
the reason why I do the liquid and not the gel, the gel has the tendency to potentially have the plastic slide around a little bit and get out of place. Um, the liquid still does that, but less so. Um, and you can find this at Home Depot, Michaels, Orchard Supply, or any hardware stores. They're most likely to have them. Uh, it's a pretty common super glue. And these cost around, depending on where you get it in the ballpark of anywhere between 5 and $12 or 13 or something like that. Um, it depends really on where you get it. And then we have plastic cement. Uh, I, in particular, use the testers cement uh, for welding the plastic together. You can use the super glue. I would strongly suggest using the plastic cement instead because that's what it's made for, specifically that. And I think it holds a little bit better, ironically enough, than the super glue welding the plastic get to plastic together. Uh, and then I got the paint. I overestimated on the paint. We're going to need a lot of it for the armor. Um, I, I did about 250. Actually, this technically should be around 300 because it's all spray paint. But I lucked out like a bandit. I got all the paint that I need for the armor at $150, um, which is really, really nice. I got a super big deal on that. Um, but around 300 is probably to be the expected price of that. CA glue, as I was mentioning before, this is really, really nice stuff. I've used it a few times before. I don't currently have any, so I need to get more of it. Um, it is really nice for being able to use, especially what we're going to use it for in, in the case of the armor kit, um, as well as probably also the various parts with the helmet, uh, and possibly also, too, with the weapons as well. So... Uh, some really good stuff with that. And, of course, Bondo for filling in various nicks, contusions, scratches, and even seams as well. Um, that's going to be pretty important. I've not included any other, like, straps or any um, any tools at all. But everything here is going to be around 2600 or so. Maybe a little bit more. But... I've overestimated just in case for the tools that I'm going to probably eventually need to around and other things to around like $3,000, which is actually, you know, quite low for professional looking costume standards. Um, the Deadpool uh, costume, for example, that was like, you know, several tens of thousands of dollars. The um, Batman suit for Batman versus Superman. That was like a hundred thousand or something like that. So it is an art form. It can get expensive, but it can be done on, you know, on something like this or even less. So, um, but that pretty much ladies and gentlemen is going to, you know, kind of cover everything. Um, the tools and other things I'm still working out, but it's still going to be under budget, so I'm not worried about that. Um, not worried about it at all. Some of the tools that we need, I already have, so that that helps out a lot. But that's pretty much going to be the end of this particular episode because um, there's really not much else to do and other than to get the other stuff and actually build the armor we're already going to get started on it very soon probably in the next couple of weeks we'll have the first video of the um the build in particular either with the helmet kit or the holsters i'm not sure which of i am going to go with first probably the holsters um and then we'll move into the helmet and then we'll move into the other stuff um as we go but um yeah that's pretty much going to do it for this episode, guys. If you enjoyed the video, if you learned something today, feel free to Hulk smash that like button. Comment in the comment section below. And if you're new, thank you so much for watching. Hope you all hit that subscribe button. And as always, everybody, may the force be ever with you.